Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win to Lose Gaming. So I'm going to provide you guys with a quick update to my earlier tier list that I made a couple of weeks ago. So that way we can wrap up the patch 1.0 tier list and meta and see how things change in the upcoming future. So as I mentioned, I made that video a few weeks ago and because it was a few weeks ago, Jing Yuan wasn't out and of course I couldn't add him onto the tier list. So now that he's been out and I've been able to use him for quite some time, we have some adjustments to make and we have quite a bit to talk about. But really quick, it's time to pay some bills. And today's sponsor is Snowbreak Containment Zone. Snowbreak Containment Zone is the ultimate waifu third person shooter extravaganza. Snowbreak combines the awesomeness of character skills and abilities with gunning down countless waves of terrifyingly terrible enemies. Enjoy the third person view with first person precision with Snowbreak's cutting edge controls. Now you actually get to see your waifus shoot enemies instead of just a crosshair. Bring three characters with you that you can freely swap to counter everything your enemies can throw at you. Snowbreak will have regular updates and even more characters to collect. There's even co-op mode where you can cross play with your friends on both mobile and PC. And if you thought only playing as waifus isn't enough, well you get to gun down huge Omega Titan Denmaku waifus. Snowbreak combines both anime aesthetics with 3D modeling to make a diverse set of characters to collect. Each gun will also feel unique and impactful. So get ready to dive into Snowbreak's rich story with animated cutscenes as you help resolve the conflict between technology and humanity. The game will have voice acting in English, Japanese, and Mandarin with 10 text languages as well. Smash that link down below to pre-register for tons of rewards. Closed beta starts on June 1st and lasts for two weeks. The game will be launched on July 20th. Huge thanks to Snowbreak Containment Zone for sponsoring today's video. So here's where we left off with my previous video and I'm actually pretty happy with this tier list for the most part. And after seeing some other Memory of Chaos 10 and 9 clears on YouTube and stuff like that, I kind of further validated what I thought about this tier list. So for the most part, this video is going to focus on E0, maybe E1 for the five star characters, as well as either free to play Lycones or um, Super Imposition 1 Lycones for the five star characters. So really it's kind of a free to play slash low spender tier list. But of course, you know, given the amount of resources that we've had, it's pretty much impossible for anyone that hasn't been max refreshing or whaling one or the other to actually 30 star memory of chaos currently. But that's of course gonna change in the future. And honestly, so will this tier list. So we're gonna to have to see how things play out. First, we're gonna start with some adjustments to this tier list. And we're gonna move from the lower tiers to the higher tiers, starting with King Chi. Now I'm actually gonna move Ching Chi up quite a few spots into the A tier and perhaps where exactly in the A tier will she fall? She's pretty good in my opinion and I think I'm gonna put her actually right around here above Serval. And the reason for this is because um, for the five star characters I was mainly talking about, for example, Eidolon Zero, but for four star characters we can start to consider some Eidolons. And Ching Chi is going to get a lot, a lot better with her Eidolons. In particular, Eidolon 4 as well as Eidolon 6 help her out a ton. Now, most of us, not even me, have her Eidolon 6. But as time progresses, we will get her and some free to play players that did get lucky should probably have her Eidolon 4, which is also a huge game changer for her. And the fact that she can actually dish out some serious damage um, once she actually gets rolling and also finally because of the fact that the memory of chaos in patch 1.0 does fo does favor hunt and erudition characters which king chia is an erudition character this will actually bump her up quite a bit in terms of this tier list so i'm very comfortable moving her up to the a tier especially for the time being now the next character i want to adjust is um sampo i feel like i was a little bit unfair to him uh, in the previous tier list and I do want to bump him up to the bottom of a tier and really I still haven't seen that many great showings of him but uh, and on paper he should be a better character than for example Herta is especially in the current memory of chaos as well as the physical trailblazer in my opinion so the next character is Arlen and sadly 
I feel like I'm going to have to move him down to the B tier because, you know, we do have Serval as a pretty reasonable choice as, as an electric DPS character. And finally, we have the introduction of Jing Yuan. And honestly, when you just have such better alternatives to the degree of a character like Jing Yuan, characters like Arlen are just going to be bumped down. So let's also make a couple other minor adjustments. I'm going to move Natasha up actually to the top of S tier and even above Clara as well as the Fire Trailblazer. Natasha is one of the only healers that you get in the game for obvious reasons and just because of the scarcity she is an incredible character and also her cleanse uh, in many ways can actually mitigate more damage for your team or at least in many situations than even Bailu's additional healing can do in some very important situations like for example the Memory of Chaos 9 against the two big Wind Archers that cleanse can be an absolute game changer and lifesaver as well as cleansing, burn, and a bunch of other really really painful status effects that you face in Memory of Chaos 9 and Memory of Chaos 10. So for the 1.0 tier list I also wanted to move Yanqing up into the SS tier and I'm actually going to put him even above Ting Yuan by a bit because Yanqing will really, really carry you through both Memory of Chaos 9 and Memory of Chaos 10, at least one half of it. And those are two of the most difficult chambers in Memory of Chaos. It's those, uh, it's those, right? So he uh, single-handedly really does extraordinarily well, especially if you have um, Jepard. So yeah, Yanqing, huge, hugely, insanely good for the patch 1.0 Memory of Chaos, both the blessing buff thing as well as the floors favoring him really has him deserving this spot in my opinion. We've covered all the adjustments for this tier list. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, Jing Yuan. So Jing Yuan is a character that I think uh, had a bit of controversy and stuff. And I actually did want to talk about both the controversy as well as my justification for where I'm going to be putting him in the 1.0 Memory of Chaos tier list. And where's he going to go in this tier list? I'm putting him in the SS tier above Yanqing actually. So uh, Jing Yuan is still an insanely good character, especially right now. And there's a few key reasons as to why this is the case. For one, Jing Yuan absolutely annihilates the second half of floor nine. Hey, so I just realized while recording this video and trying to grab a couple of screenshots from this, that the memory of chaos actually reset. And yeah, I guess I haven't checked the memory of chaos in a few days to realize that it reset now. But if anyone could let me know down in the comments below if you've cleared up to seven through 10, if those are still the same, because if those are, then yeah, obviously this video still applies. But if those have changed, which in the previous recycle of the memory of chaos that didn't change then yeah yeah so yeah let me know if it's changed or not thanks which is absolutely critical you can see in my previous uh, video chart in my previous video on how i cleared memory chaos 9 and 10 whatever we can see here that jing yuan was able to dumpster the second half of memory of chaos 9 in just six turns that's absolutely crazy especially for an easier character of course the current meta favors Jing Yuan and honestly the buff favors him far more than I would say most characters. Even a character like for example Zele. Zele? Zele? I, I, all, every single video I make where I pr try to pronounce Zele, Zele, however you say her name, I get absolutely destroyed in the comments by people. So I'm so sorry for mispronouncing her name. I, I think like German is just not a language I'm ever going to get. But so yeah, anyway back <laughs> Back to Jing Yuan, an absolute go in the second half of Memory of Chaos 9, as well as he is also really good in Memory of Chaos 10, the first half, and he's actually perfectly usable in the second half of Memory of Chaos 2. So overall, this Forgotten Hole really favors him, and I forgot to mention another crucial reason why that's the case. That's because of the buff that is currently available. All Jing Yuan needs in order to get two turns guaranteed every single cycle without like enemies messing him up is 101 speed. So that means that he will always get to move twice before his Lightning Lord, which is absolutely huge in, for a character like Jing Yuan. This buff, in my opinion, actually favors him probably more than even any other uh, erudition or any other character because of the way that building stacks on his Lightning Lord 
hugely, hugely benefits it. So here's my final 1.0 tier list factoring in Jing Yuan, as well as seeing what some other players managed to accomplish. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my list. Again, this tier list is focused entirely on the patch 1.0 memory of chaos, primarily floors 8 through 10 because that's when things get really difficult. So yeah, I personally can't wait to see how the meta changes for patch 1.1. And don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Snowbreak Containment Zone. Huge thanks to them for making a video like this possible. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.